Hi guys, Big Monday here, and today I have a guide for you. This is how to cast spells, and this is a bit of a, a one that I see a lot of people just don't get right. I Prepare think I'm going to need some extra right clicks. I'm going to go mid. So let's get to still battle. not fantastic, but let's get that. Okay. So the whole point of this: when you first start playing Dota, you it, 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 so the game tells you to do damage to people you cast spells and if you're playing as idiots that generally works because you can cast spells and they won't run away they'll be on like 200 HP and you'll even when you've maxed all these they'll stick around the, uh, they don't care no shits given you know all the fucks flew away <laughs> but, I thought as much. but the thing is when you start to get and play against decent players, when they're on low HP, they're going to run away. So the order we cast our spells in and when we cast our spells is really, really important. So Swiftly. what I could do, battle begins. This will come in handy. Or rather, what I don't want to do is cast any spells unless I know that I either I am guaranteed a kill or I'm going to trade very favorably with the enemy. And what I mean by that is if casting the spell on them is going to make you. make it so I can do a huge amount of damage to them, then that's fine. Uh, but otherwise, yes. I don't want to do it. And this is going to be really hard to last hit because I'm a Crystal Maiden. And oh. she only has, even with a Null Talisman, she doesn't right click for anything. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep chipping rather than using my mana on the pudge I'm just gonna keep <laughs> chipping away at his health Faster. and this is how you get this is how you my get an enemy fight. this is how you cast your spells basically you don't you save them until you can get a kill uh, now in some situations let's say the pudge stepped here so that he was I'm under my creep that. wave uh, if my creep wave aggro's him uh, then I can stun him because he's going to take a huge okay. amount of damage from the creep wave. So I'm going to keep. What I want is to get him low enough Agreed. so that I've got a chance to kill him, but not so low as he'll back off. And <laughs> yes. I will take you. Um. It's a bit risky. I'm saving for a bottle so I didn't buy any regen. This is bot, so they kind of have predictable behavior. So I should be okay. In a human game, you really want to be careful if you go into a game without regen. You will probably screw yourself over. So there, the Pudge is already going for a rune. Again, this might be a good time for me to use my skills because he's going to come back up here. Sadly, you got a. Uh, Oh, this is gonna hurt. First blood. First blood. Yeah, not a good start. Okay, so we'll come straight back to lane now. Can't believe that did so little damage to Pudge. To his illusions. I'm gonna drop a nuke straight on him. Just to get rid of the illusions. Here I come. Okay, so the Pudge is now fairly low. It's okay to spam your spells once you've got enough mana regen to uh, to basically sustain spamming them. So I'm going to hit him a couple more times. Basically now what I want to do is get him sort of in the river so he's got a long run to his tower and then I'm going to hit him with my nukes. Let's go. I'll not argue. Again, just just last hitting in the meantime, probably should deny more to sort of pull the wave back. I thought as much. I won't give them the satisfaction. To battle. 
Again, you see, I don't want to get him much lower than that, or he's or he's going to back off. I'm rushing the crystal nova because of the oh. movement speed. Okay, so now I can go on him. He's low. And the ice wolves bite. So basically, you see, oh, I can't believe he got the deny. So basically, what I did is I waited to cast spells until my 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 nuke damage was enough to kill him. Indeed. If I had cast those before, when they weren't enough to kill him, I wouldn't have had enough mana to cast both of them, and he'd have got away. Okay, I'm also going to use that because I want to push the wave because that's another time that it's appropriate to to Die. use your spell, uh, use your spells. But now, Pudge, not come back yet. Down, so again, we'll do go. this one more time. Forward. Um, gonna get my ult, even though I wouldn't normally on a CM. Oh, I haven't really got enough mana to cast everything. Uh, yes. 4.55 I need. So pretty much my entire mana pool. Okay, this is why I'll not argue. we don't cast spells unless we're guaranteed a kill. Because I need my entire mana Missing pool to use my full combo. So again, he's got a haste, so... Not a lot of point me uh, casting spells on him now because he'll he, he'll just run away. If I'm playing with a stupid player, he might not run away. Here I come. But when you're playing somebody who's not a complete moron, he's just going to run away. That's cold. Swiftly. Okay, now the I've got my ult. That will probably be low enough if I can I catch him bottom. in a bad position. Uh, like there. So basically what I was waiting for is to get close enough to cast all of my spells one after the other when he's got no chance of getting out of range. But because I've deliberately not used my spells before he gets that low, that leaves him in the... Uh, that leaves basically guarantees me the kill. It guarantees I can... I could probably have killed him then from full health. So let's try that one more time. Let's try it going into lane. Now these guys are really low. So I should be able to just walk in and kill them. But again, if I was just randomly casting my spells at any time they're off cooldown, then I wouldn't have the mana to do this. Let's go. Faster. I knew that was going to get away. So, we'll cast Indeed. the slow, then the, the freeze, and cool. because we know we're going to be able to cast spells more than once because they're low cooldowns, it is more that important to get in range for the next spell than it is to right click in most cases. Killing spree, double kill. So you see that? By, by saving my mana and not using my spells this until I know I'm going to get a kill, mine. Uh, it guarantees me the kill every time. There are a couple of other instances we yes, can do this. Let me quickly top. drop into another game. Uh, unfair bots again. I'll pick. So in some games you're going to have a situation where you pretty much know you're not going to be able to kill the enemy to battle and you're having a really hard time last hitting uh, this is quite common with mid heroes where you've just got an enemy hero that is uh, pretty much impossible to last hit against. Lena, for example, she has a terrible yes. last hitting animation, so it's really hard to last hit with that. If I'm against a Death Prophet, that should be pretty cool this game because she's got a very similar mechanic to how we would play Lena. So, uh, regardless of who we get mid, we'll just assume for this game that I can't last hit. For whatever reason, maybe I'm getting out harassed or. The enemy has just got so much more damage than me, it's impossible battle. for me to last hit. But let's just assume 
I can't last hit anymore, and I can't get an opportunity to kill the enemy. So how do we d how do we deal with that? Okay, so in fact, let's let's wait for the creep wave and then we'll we'll go into Time to hot foot it. Quick, the battle begins. So first off, I probably don't want to use my skills at level one unless I really have to. Uh, usually, I would like to avoid this, and the reason for that is because. Most skills, the amount of damage you do per mana point spent yes. goes up dramatically uh, as the skill levels up. So what I'm going to look to do is do it like that. We make sure we get the last hit and we hit the enemy hero. And what that's going to do, it's oh, going to be unlikely that I'm going to be able to kill her because she's going to be... Like when she gets harassed, she's going like, to just, just walk away. But if I make sure every time I get a last hit with a nuke that I hit the enemy hero at the same time, it's going to leave her really low and she won't want to come in for last hits. So she's staying back now because she's worried that I'm going to... I might... Yeah, and she's doing the same to me. So yeah, and we do that every time. We make sure every time we cast it... Every time we cast it, we make sure we hit the we get our last hit, and we hit the enemy hero. And by doing this, she's just not going to be able to trade with me at all. And you can do this with any hero that has a long range nuke. And if you're struggling to get last hits, you can just keep doing this. And I'm going to clarity up. Lena's pretty. Lena's really good for this because she's also got a long range right click. Uh, should get that one. You see, and now the Death Prophet, she can't even come close, because if she comes close, uh, uh, just a couple of right clicks, she's going to be dead. Yes. So, I, I am now struggling for mana. You can see how, Don't what I mean far. by from the last video, that if I'm just spamming these spells, uh, I'm really going to struggle. Way. Because I don't have enough mana for a stun now, so I I kind of can't kill her. Time Might be able to if I get that DD. Double damage. Okay, so bottle like coming in. I know I now have enough mana regen to uh, pretty much spam continuously. But I'm not going to. Not unless I see the enemy. Because <laughs> I want to make sure every time every time I. I use my skills. I'm hitting her too, and oh, a bit slow there. Oh yeah. First blood. There we go. And if we just carry on like this, I'm and bottle going. up. Burn a path. Double kill. See, she's doing the same to me. She's last hitting. And she's she, she's hitting me. Quick! Oh, she's so close to death. Yes. If you if you do it like this, you're gonna get you're gonna completely dominate your lane. If you've got a good nuker like this, where yes. you can relatively reliably spam your nukes. To battle. Again, I can't see her, so I'm not gonna waste my mana. There it is really inefficient I'm for me going. to spend mana just to last hit creeps because if there's nobody around to contest me I should be able to get that every time death prophet's missing okay she's not she's here but uh, I kind of don't want them to go into the low ground but... yes. got her again Burn a path. She's kind of in this position now where she, if she stays, she knows that I, I, there's a good chance I'll kill her. So now, because we've harassed her so much... So there we go. 
Uh, easy one, as long as... Just make sure every time you cast a spell, it gets a last hit and it gets the enemy hero. Yes. It's going to put the enemy hero in a really difficult position. They're either not going to get last hits or they're going to risk dying. I feel like the blazes. Or both. Again, we'll do that one more time when she comes in. Hopefully she's going to come back to lane yes. pretty quick. Middle is missing. Quick. Now I have the soul ring. I know I can spam a little bit more. To battle. Oh yeah. I'm going to pull the creeps up here because I want I want my creeps Quick. on the high ground so I can see her when she arrives. And oh, I missed her then. Just trying to get both. I go like the blazes. Took way too much damage from creeps there. Try and get both. I just missed her again. Burn a path. I'm going. So she's trying. She's trying to kill me now because I'm in the awkward position she was in. Heat wave. Uh, but she doesn't want to. Okay. She doesn't yes. want to finish me. Fair enough. I can let that slide. Okay, brilliant. Regen room. I could really do with boots here as well. So let's get the boots delivered. Something for a cold day. You can really abuse pops. Yes. Shadows. Bots are so easy. Burn a path. And probably not going to get this, but. Killing spree! Double okay! Kill. Maybe I will. A flame. Okay, let's go back to harassing the Death Prophet. I kind of don't want to diverge too much on this video, but it's fun to kill people. Like a wildfire. Okay, so the thing with the ult is a lot of people use it when, when an enemy is on full health. And let's just harass her for a couple of last hits. A lot of people use it when yes. the enemy is on full health, and if I were to do that, she's probably just going to walk away. Now she's on 308. I could kill her. If she gets in range, I can just kill her. She's on 281 now. I'm going to weaken that. No, let's, let's back Quick. off. Okay, so she shows. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna save my ult until it can guarantee me a kill. Burn them all. Oh yeah. Ah, fresh me. A dragon knight. Ownage. <sighs> Yes. I'm gonna just guess that she's back. She's probably not, but between my bottle and my soul ring, I can spam yes. now, so it's okay for me to Heat wave. just take the risk. That's probably her coming in now. Okay, no, Dragon Knight. Oh yeah. Uh, so I'm not gonna waste spells on him. Okay, the Dazzle's here too. Not gonna waste spells on him. Blazes. I need to harass him first, or I'm probably just wasting my time. Time to hot foot it. So, last hit. Quick. I worried he might follow me then, so I dropped the stun where he's going to be. I'm going. Okay, Dragon Knight's missing again. Attack. Middle is missing. Yes. And take a few tank a few hits here just to make sure my creeps are on the high ground so I can see the enemy heroes. Yes. I could put a ward there too. 
Uh, Death Prophet seems to have given up fighting me now, but that's okay. Don't mind. Come on, Death Prophet, get your ass back here. So, of course, if I do want to just push a wave really quickly, I can just spam spells, particularly with Lena because of the Fiery Soul. Burn a path. Should hopefully force somebody to respond. We have an Invis Dragon Knight. Okay, Heat wait for, wait for somebody, to, wait for them to be low. Or make them low. Like a wildfire. The hell is he doing? Okay, th this cannot be unfair, bots. So These are behaving really weirdly. Okay, so I'm going I want a bloodstone at some point on Lena, so I'm gonna send the courier to the secret shop. To battle. Oh, brilliant! I can hit two heroes there. Definitely worth the mana. Like a you see, I'll save my ult there until I can guarantee that kill. <laughs> And we don't cast the ult until we know we, we are definitely going to get a kill. Okay, that was stupid. So, there you have it, at least. When to cast your spells, both. Your middle tower is Always make sure you're hitting an enemy hero if you do cast a spell and getting a last hit at the same time. It will force your enemy to either retreat or give you kill opportunities. Otherwise, don't bother casting your spells unless you're guaranteed a kill. It's especially if you've got long cooldown ults, it's just not worth it. The Guna Blade is just too valuable. And you can see how easily I kill Ricky then. I, I cast a level one stun on him and a dragon slave, so and I then I could easily ult and kill him. No problem. But if I'd have led with my ult, he'd have just ran away. So this is important that you think about what order and what order you're going to cast your spells in and can, if I cast them in this order will it guarantee me a kill? If the answer is no, you usually don't want to cast them. Okay, so guys, really hope you found this useful. Let me know how you how you get on uh, trying this out and just have a great day guys. See you later. Bye bye.